Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode I thought I'd uh, go through a quick breakdown of uh, all the costings for my workshop build. So in all it cost roughly just under £800 and um, I've gone through all my receipts and I've broke down all, a sort of breakdown of all the costings. So I'm going to go through that. Um, if you haven't seen my video on the workshop build I'll leave a, a link in the description below so you can check that out. So right then let's get into it. So um, I built the shed last year 2019 in the summer so it's getting on for I suppose a year old now. Uh, so we'll start off with the cladding okay so I used feather edge cladding, feather edge board, um, eight foot lengths <coughs> and uh, for that I used a total of uh, 135 pieces so I had a little bit left over but um, I bought a bit too much just so that I wouldn't have too little so I'm not sure roughly I probably used almost all of that anyway so 8 foot lengths 135 pieces of that and the total cost I looked to get the cheapest sort of deal I possibly could so um, depends on how you want to do it if you're doing it on a budget I tried to do it as cheap as possible uh, so the cladding cost me £168.77 and that was uh, delivered as well so that's not too bad that's one of the bigger costings so now we'll go on to the frame so the frame is made up of 2x3 um, CLS timber which is usually used in houses to make like stud walls and um, they were 8 foot lengths and I paid £2.75 each for those and uh, there was 18 of those needed for the frame uh, sorry the base okay um, some bits of the base I actually used skids from pallets so that didn't cost anything but the main sub base was uh, made up, up of 18 pieces of this 2x3 CLS timber and uh, then I used 48 pieces of it to make the whole frame so you can see here these pieces here and here the whole frame the whole that there's there's six panels all together they're all made of this uh, 2x3 timber and that was a total of 48 pieces it took for that so in all all in all 66 pieces 66 8 foot lengths of 2x3 timber were used And that came to a total of £181.50. And then we'll move on to um, the pallet wood floor. So the actual floor in here didn't cost me anything. Um, it was all broken up pallet wood. I was considering using uh, plywood, say maybe 18mm or a bit thicker. But I worked out that was going to cost a few hundred pounds. So I thought mm, I'll probably just use the pallet wood because it's free and it's just as good it's quite thick I think the thickness of all this pallet wood is around between 20 to 22 mil so it's really solid it's good it's just not flush it's not a completely smooth like a tabletop because uh, some of the pieces of wood I couldn't get all uniform pieces because it, it required a lot of wood so there's little lumps and bumps here and there but <clears throat> it doesn't bother me and like I said it's a good strong floor and another bonus if you're going to use pallet wood is that if a part of the floor is damaged you can just pop up a few planks of that wood and replace it whereas if you put down sheets so like four by eight sheets of, of plywood or um, whatever you're gonna have to take the whole piece up if it gets damaged so uh, that's another thing to think about so the floor didn't really cost anything um, so for the frame I used decking screws okay and I spent about 15 pound or so on the screws and I used those because um, I wanted to use a sort of waterproof screw. I think they're ceramic coated, just to make sure that there's no, I mean, because this is the frame, this is the structure. I didn't want any of the screws to sort of degrade over time. So that's why I use those. Um, so bolts and washers. So the frame is mainly screwed together, but some areas of it are bolted. Um, so I, it, it didn't cost a lot. Uh, I've, I've put a tenner down for that, around ten pounds worth maybe of bolts and washers. Um, again, not not actually necessary if you're going to do a cheap 
build yourself. You don't really need bolts and washers. You could just get get Barbie screws. So um, that was that. And then for the rafters, there is 11 pieces of a nine foot, uh, again, it's two by three wood, and they cost three pounds 89 each. And that comes to a total of £42.79. So I could have used um, 2x4s for the roof. But number one, it's more expensive. And number two, I didn't want to add too much weight to the roof. Because the, the way I've designed the roof, it's, it's a very light roof. It's not really a roof that you'd want to walk across. But you could if you wanted to. But I wanted the roof to be as light as possible. Um, and that would have added quite a bit of weight as well. So um, that's why I did that, because the roofing sheets are quite light. They don't need um, a lot of support, and that's worked out really well. So I've used 2 by 3s and that's, that's been fine so far. Of course, if you wanted to run across the roof, I wouldn't recommend it. But it, it, it does the job for me anyway, it's fine. Uh, okay, so that's that. Uh, the windows, okay, so this window you see here, that cost me £8.50 from eBay and that was um, obviously a used window and I went to pick that up um, I got that, I just bid for it, got it for £8.50 luckily it's not blown or anything so it's, it's fine and the rest of the windows were salvaged so they didn't cost me anything so that was the only cost for windows apart from uh, sealants and things and I'll, I'll get onto that in a minute um, I used some uh, can of Rust-Oleum spray, which is frosting spray, for uh, two of the windows. Uh, this one here, and there's one over there you can't see. And that can actually cost £7.75 for a quite a big can. But you can buy those um, like non-branded versions quite cheap. I've seen, I've seen them around, so shop around for those if you need that. And that just keeps the windows nice and private. So, uh, moving on. Uh, the wrap that I used, okay, it was like a, th a three-layer wrap called Chromar vent free and I bought off cuts of that so I got it cheaper uh, I bought that from eBay uh, just before I forget I either bought the stuff on this list from eBay or Wix so only one or two places so the wrap was from eBay um, that wrap cost $25.99 and I had plenty left over so this is a 16 by 8 shed I finished the shed um, I also made a tool shed I used it on that and I've still got some left, so there was plenty there. It's $25.99. And again, if you're on a tight budget, you don't necessarily need a wrap. It's not necessary. If you buy a shed, usually um, a cheap shed, it doesn't have a wrap. So it's not necessary. So bearing in mind, the total cost of my shed was under £800. You could actually do a 16 by 8 shed a little bit cheaper if you wanted to. It is possible. So the aluminium tape that I used, another thing that's not essential, um, to to tape up all the seams of the wrap that was a £6.98 roll also from eBay and I used three rolls of that and then fence stain which I used the, the grey fence stain on the outside uh, roughly £20 worth of, of stain I used for that but again I've still got quite a bit left over so that's that uh, so for the roof uh, the roofing sheets okay I used, um, it's called Onjuline, and it's a corrugated bitumen uh, roofing sheet, and uh, that came to £120.45, pence. and then the screws, which are also Onjuline, um, self-tapping screws to put the roof on, uh, the screws cost £30.59, quite expensive screws, but they're really long and they've got a special sort of cap on them to keep them watertight so that was that and then uh, moving on the damp course which is underneath the pallet wood floor um, I can't remember the, 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 the total size I had to cut it down I did have some left over but it was £12 so um, really cheap again on eBay another thing that you don't necessarily need but if you can spend a lot of time in your shed and you're worrying about condensation problems or damp or whatever you're better off having uh, some form of um, a vapor barrier so I opted for that and then uh, moving on to insulation I bought two rolls of um, what do you call it um, 
foil bubble wrap, okay? And it's about three or five mil thick. It's not very thick. And that was kind of the cheapest way I found to insulate the shed. And up until now, it's been through its first winter. It worked surprisingly well. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with how it works. So that was, uh, I bought two rolls of that and it was £20.99. So roughly £21 per roll. Which is really cheap because I actually had some left over again. And in conjunction with the vapour barrier behind it, so we've got the, the cladding, the wrap, the bubble wrap, and it's all sealed up. It works quite well. Um, the plug that I use for my electrics, actually you can see it's there. That costs £6.99 again from eBay. Um, and one thing I've missed out on here, now I, now I look, um, the cable that I've used to connect the shed to the house, the electric cable, that didn't cost too much. That probably cost about... I don't know, about eight pounds or so for a cable, for just for the length of cable. So there was that. Um, and I bought a trickle vent for the window at the back, the one you can't see. Uh, Three pounds 89 again from eBay, and that's just to, I keep that open all the time, and it keeps it permanently uh, ventilated in here. So what else, okay. Um, some sand, I used some sand to seat the slabs, which the shed's sitting on, that, uh, 10 pounds worth of sand. Um, slabs were free. I actually found the slabs thrown out. I didn't cost anything. I've still got some of those left as well. Um, so we've got um, some finishing wood bead and beading. So most of the beading I actually made, but there was a time when I started this build, I didn't have a table saw. So some of the beading, I actually bought it. So there was 30 pounds worth of wood that I actually bought for that. The rest I made once I got my table saw. And then silicon and fillers, um, about £10 again, just around the windows, just filling all the cracks. So, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much everything. So, um, the, uh, the overall total of that came to £797.14, so just under £800. So, um, initially, I didn't think that I'd be able to do it within £1,000, and of course, there are drawbacks to having like a cheap design like I've got. I mean, you could you, you could spend a lot more money on this if you bought a 16 by 8 shed pre-made with a wrap, with insulation, with windows in each side. You know, it's going to cost you thousands probably. So, um, I looked around, you know, I was really careful about what I spent and um, I managed to get it within £800, which is really good because it's a 16 by 8 it's a big shed. Uh, if I could go back in time, what would I do differently? One thing I probably would, wouldn't have done is put so many windows in because it's just not necessary. I just wanted it to feel light in here. And as you can see, um, it's quite light in here. There's no light on. So it, it does the job, but it does get quite hot in here um, on a nice day because you've got windows in each side, quite big windows. And it's insulated, so it's like a greenhouse that's insulated, so it gets really warm in it. It's actually, it's actually 20 degrees in here now, and the outside temperature is probably, say, 14, and there's no heating on or anything. So, another thing that I'd probably maybe do differently is, if you want sand insulation, I wouldn't use aluminium bubble wrap, I'd use something else, like... Um, it's like a rock wool maybe and then I would panel out the uh, over the top of it so as you can see in here there's no paneling in here you know I could have put sheets of wood over the top so you could kind of argue that it's not finished I mean I could spend another few hundred pound on paneling, paneling out the shed but insulation wise it doesn't really seem necessary I've got a little heater up there and I, I put that on when it's cold but it's fine it's gone through its first winter, no problem. Um, the roof is perfectly fine. Um, I actually went up on the ladder and had a look at the roofing sheets and they look brand new, not nowhere or anything. So they're fine. And they haven't moved at all. The screws that you can buy for them are really strong. Um, I think it's much better than a felt roof because a felt has got a life expectancy of like the cheap stuff, maybe three to five years. If you're lucky, you might stretch it to sort of eight years, but the problem we felt is that 
um, when it gets hot it can it can bubble and it can crack over time and it can actually completely fail altogether if it's not thick enough and water can just seep through plus with felt you need something to stick the felt to so you're going to need to buy roofing sheets such as OSB or plywood and on a, a big shed like this it's going to cost a lot of money so the way I did it was I built like a, a rafter kind of structure I'll just show you as you can see like that and uh, the roofing sheets go straight on top of there so in between those sections the only thing above it really is that there's a wrap so there's the the insulation the wrap and then the roofing sheets so there's actually no wood on top of those rafters that's why I say you probably wouldn't want to stand on it but then again it isn't weak you know you, you wouldn't fall through the roof um, it just reduces a lot of weight and uh, it saves on cash because you don't necessarily need a wooden roof um, so yeah that's about it I think if you've got any questions please let me know if there's anything I've missed and you want to ask please let me know um, I've done my best I've gone through everything I can think of uh, the cost of this shed I didn't think it would be this cheap to build to be honest <clears throat> oh another thing I didn't mention it's on the list but I must have missed it the door the door cost um, 20 20 pounds it's a double glazed door I, I was just lucky to get that cheap on eBay a uh, used door 20 pound uh, it's a big nice big double glazed door that's really good again you're probably not gonna you're probably gonna struggle to find a door that cheap but saying that you might even find one thrown out so I could always make a door out of wood it wouldn't cost a lot so total cost within 800 pound big shed so if I if I built a smaller shed obviously it'd be a lot cheaper as well so if you're thinking of a 16 by 8 shed and you're looking around uh, at places that make them and you, you think oh uh, they cost quite a bit of money so uh, you know you want to consider maybe making it yourself um, when you shop around and look for the materials and stuff it is more work of course but it's definitely worth it you save a lot of money and I'm pretty confident with this shed um, one of the main reasons I didn't buy one actually was because I don't have any side access to my house so I couldn't actually get one this big into the back garden so in the end I had no choice so yeah I'm just waffling on now so thank you for watching this video uh, if you like the video uh, please drop a like below and also comment and uh, please consider subscribing as well for more videos so uh, with that being said I'll see you next time